He says he wants Canelo. There are people who say, be careful what you wish for, but you never know. He's an improving fighter, 27 years old. It just could happen. He's the WBO number one, isn't he? And uh, with Canelo being WBO champion, then that is possible. But, uh, we're starting tonight and he needs to get contests under his belt. I think he knows that. But he is a talent, there's no doubt about it. He's a very good orthodox boxer, he's a very good south boy, switches very well, undefeated, and he's got decent power, Parker. This will be a good test for him tonight against Husanov, who's one of these Uzbekistans, who's a double Olympian, so he's very, very skillful. And yeah, this will be a, a different type of test. Right hand there just slipped a little bit low from Parker. He has actually stopped his last three opponents, including the fight that we've been talking about in the run-up to this against Vaughan Alexander in his Queensbury debut. First time we've seen him on BT Sport, and he looked really good last time out. And there's a nice solid left into the body. He got a good variety of punching. And he says quite definitely, unequivocally, I'm planning a KO tonight. Well, what's important tonight for, for Zach Parker is he boxes at his pace. Remember, he's in against a 41-year-old who has been a good boxer, but he'll prefer a slower pace. And there might be periods of the round where he'll work and then periods of the round where he'll take a break, take a breather, because he's 41 years of age. So it's important for Parker to set a good pace. Yeah, he's lost two of his last three, Husanov, but he did have a good second-round knockout against Robert Perzhukovsky. That was uh, a couple of fights ago. Normally has a pretty tight guard, and you can see he likes to keep his gloves up high there. And Parker, the first job, maybe to try and get those gloves to come down, and he'll be doing that by targeting the body. There you go. Solid right hand. And again, now, uh, Parker just boxing as that side floor again, John. And um, he does it very well. If you, if you, you see his back leg, his left leg doesn't come round, he doesn't come, come square. Now, that was a clever little move there. He actually switched back to orthodox, but he did it going backwards. So many fighters do it the other way around, where they switch going forwards, and if you get caught on the switch, that's when you can get, you can get knocked out or get caught with a good punch. Oh, great shot! Terrific left hand, and you can see Husanov doubled over with pain, and I'm not convinced that he's going to want to carry on after that. That went right down to his boots, and he's been counted out on his knee all over. And another vivid example of the power of Zach Parker. He can hit. Well, what a tremendous punch that was. Parker just getting into his stride, having a decent round, looking at what he was up against, working well with his jab, but then switches downstairs with an absolute belting shot. Bang on the button, you know, and this Husanov, he's never been stopped. Never been stopped to snap a double Olympian, but there he just couldn't rise from that punch. Zachary Parker, he's kind of gone a little bit under the radar, but a shot like this, this is the sort of punch that gets people talking. Oh, lovely shot, wasn't it? Left up to the body, just under the, the right elbow of Husanov. There it was, there. What a belting shot that is. Banged on the button. And this fella, like I've said, has been through two Olympics, world-class amateur. Decent pro, only lost twice, never been stopped, but he couldn't get up from that punch. A few who've made their way down from Derbyshire to cheer for their friend, to cheer for their man, and they'll have absolutely loved what they've seen. They really will. Husanov getting a little bit of attention in the corner. Meanwhile, Zach Parker, it's celebration time again. And uh, you have to ask the question, Richie, just briefly here how far do you think he can go well uh, listen I think you know he will get a world title shot if I mean it's the holy grail isn't it with fighting Canelo in front of your in front of the derby crowd at the Pride Park it's, it, it really is the ultimate dream that's the target but from now until probably next summer when that contest could take place he's going to want four or five contests John because against someone like Canelo you've got to be in 100% peak condition it's going to be really difficult then for him so let's give the kid a great chance he needs the fight under his belt and then we can look at that but yeah i think he can at least get to a world title shot but it seems up against when he gets there crowd here at the royal albert hall have loved him he's dancing a little jig of joy and here's thomas driver 
Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 47 seconds of round number one. Our referee in charge, Bob Williams, reaches the count of 10. Therefore, your winner by way of count out and still WBO International Super Middleweight Champion, Zachary Parker. Paul, you and I have seen some fighters who've really captured the imagination of the public over the last 20 or 30 years. Have we got another one here? It just might be.